Hello Pocket Collector, Puck Investor and welcome to your Mimi Pokemon. I'm very excited because today we're going to be opening one of the Hidden Fates products that just hit the market. In this case, we're opening the Pokeball collection and um, more specifically, we'll be opening the Ultra Ball one with Metagross as a promotional card. And what we're going to do here today is not just opening the packs, but we will be actually analyzing it and, and calculating the expected value of those boxes to see if we can get our money back. So stay tuned and let's open some packs together. My name is Half from MiniPokemon.com, the only place where you can learn, buy, collect and invest. And if you haven't checked out our website, go ahead and check it out. As I said, MiniPokemon.com, because that's the best way to actually help this channel. So right now I'm going to go into a different setup here in Mini Pokemon Studio. We'll be opening those packs and then we'll be, we will be calculating the expected value of the cards that we get and the expected value not just from those cards but as as a box as a whole, okay? We'll be calculating the price of the ca cards from the packs that we open, the price of the promo and the price of that Pokeball that comes in and then we'll see if we can make our money back. All right, so. Hidden Fates, Hidden Fates as you have seen probably from my previous videos and if you have not, wait until the end of this video to go and check them out. I go and talk in detail in Hidden Fates and their investability and why this set is unique. Uh, so today after a lot of people were requesting it, I decided to do an opening video. Uh, we'll be opening this Ultra Ball collection box uh, that contains a Metagross um, from Hidden Fates, it's the shiny Metagross version as a promo card and we also have 10 booster packs that come in this box along with that amazing amazing uh, Ultra Ball uh, where you can store all your cards. We'll be opening this box, we'll be analyzing hopefully uh, the price on each card as we come along and then by the end of the video we'll make a decision whether or not we got our money back. Now this this box retails for around $50, 53 If you go to minipokemart.com we do have them available as a set where there's another collection box that came out that it's the Great Ball which instead of having the Metagross it has the Sororak GX and it's also a very beautiful box so if you're interested in this you can buy both of them at minipokemart.com now we're going to be trying to get and reach those 50, 53, 50, 50, 53 dollars uh, that this box uh, it retails for and uh, we'll see if we get them alright so Come along, let's just open them and see what we can get. <clears throat> All right, so without the plastics, we can see um, that the box is beautiful. Uh, you can see the hidden fates and uh, you can see some description in the back. It includes a full art. It includes a full art featuring shiny Metagross GX, 10 Pokemon hidden fates booster packs and booster packs and Ultra Ball big enough to hold the stack of Pokemon TCG cards and of course the code that I will be sharing with all of you. So I went ahead and removed the plastics and the box uh, and this is the content we have. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful box. As I said, it has 10 booster packs. It has that uh, crazy, crazy promo that we'll be actually opening right now. Hopefully Pokemon Company did a great job here in actually securing them. It seems that they did. Let's open them very carefully. Here's the code card for everyone to enjoy. Whoop. Ooh, that was a close call. This beautiful card, look at that. I love shiny Pokemon. I don't know what about you, but I love shiny Pokemon, I collect them. And this Metagross is out of this world. I like it a lot. Um, the code, if you haven't seen it, here it is again. In terms of centering, this card is a little off center and I'll show what I'm telling you right now. Basically, if you look at the borders here, it is way more than on this side, so if you were to grade this card, probably it will be an off-center card, maybe a PSA 9, unfortunately. Very off-center, off it's easier to see it on the back, um, but regardless of being off-center, it's a beautiful card, and if you like shiny Pokemons, you will enjoy this one as well. Let's put that out of the way, let's keep unboxing this beautiful box. We have now our Ultra Ball, which is a 
it has some protection and then it's it just uh, snaps like this and it allows you to actually store your cards pretty beautiful box in case you want to save your cards in something special um, I don't recommend saving cards in things like this because they basically damage your cards so remember always always sleeve your cards never leave them out of sleeves it's very important okay <laughs> always always use sleeves it's very important um all right so if i'm looking if i'm looking down from that camera over there it's because i'm looking at the card so um sorry about that okay so now here we have all the booster packs that we will be opening right now and um yeah wish me luck and let's see what we can get and we'll be analyzing the expected value by the end of this video. Let's just start with the packs. Beautiful packs. We have the Moltres, Articuno and Zapdos pack. And a lot of people are scared about um, hidden fates in terms of being repacked. And yes, there's people that actually repack the packages. But if you see this... It is normal okay so don't freak out if you see these kind of imperfections for some strange reason all hidden fates have these kind of burned marks and it's probably how the machine actually just seals them so don't be scared about that you should look for glue uh, or if the pack is actually not sealed very well if you see that this is kind of loose then it's a concern otherwise you're golden but i'm pretty certain this is not resealed at all because it comes from my distributor and i'm pretty sure this this is in great great sealed condition all right okay remember all hidden fates have actually white coats and uh, i'll be sharing some of them with you and the other ones will be shared through our instagram so if you don't follow us on instagram make sure to follow us on instagram as well we have Mr. Cerullo's Gym, we have Chansey, we have Giovanni's Exile, we have Ikens, we have Chairman there, we have Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, and the first pack! We got it! Homo GX! <laughs> awesome stuff! Look at that beautiful card! It's an amazing, amazing, shiny Pokemon, and the next one is a Zapdos. So, let's take a look a little bit on the condition of this card because i think the condition on hidden fates is pretty good um no white marks at all that i can see look at that shiny shiny pokemon card it's just beautiful how it shines um a little bit of center as well but not too bad very beautiful card we'll put it here along with a metagross and as i said you should have some sleeves i don't have them here with me but I'll sleeve this little guys once we're done with the video. All right. So as I said, some of the codes I will share here. The other ones will be shared through our Instagram page. I like to share them through stories. So if you haven't followed us, follow us there. We have Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, a reverse hollow Arbok, and another Zapdos. All right. So very similar. Very similar. I love the Zapdos though. Look at those, at those uh, holograms. <laughs> <clears throat> so in terms of, of actually hidden fates, as I said in my previous videos, I think it's a great set to start collecting. Um, I don't know the grow. It's going to be a tricky thing to know, uh, but based that it's a very limited kind of release all right sorry i got a problem with my camera so i needed to re-record this pack but in the end I, what i was saying is hidden fates is a very very nice set the fact that we have a lot of shiny pokemon the fact that it's a kind of unlimited release where there's no booster boxes makes it a very very highly desirable collectible item and maybe maybe in the future it will be a great great investment um it's hard to predict the future, but if we look at the historical data, usually sets that actually are this way, like Dragon Majesty or actually um, uh, Shining Legends, they usually tend to grow more. And, and the, the actual fact that we have Shining Pokemon in here, it just makes it 
a very appealing set. All right, so let's keep going. Energy, Koga's Trap, Brock's Pewter City, Surge, Slowpoke, Voltor, a Pikachu. I love this Pikachu artwork. What do you think about this Pikachu? If you like it, let me know in the comment section because uh, I love that Pikachu. We have a reverse holo Kangaskhan, which I love this artwork as well. I think Hidden Fates have very, very amazing artworks. And then our rare, it's just a golem. All right, Charizard, bring us some luck. Can we pull a Charizard out of this Charizard? That would be sick. <laughs> Let's see what we can get here. We have another pack to open. So I love to do the card trick. It just makes these openings more exciting. We have Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Slowpoke, Pikachu again, a Charmander, my favorite starter, Coughing, and we got gold here. We have a Whooper, shiny card. Look at this little guy. <laughs> and I like it a lot. It's very beautiful, the texture, everything. Just this shiny Pokemon are beautiful. Okay, we'll put it to the side and then we have our Clay Fable. Mewtwo. Mewtwo is the best Pokemon out there. That's my favorite Pokemon of all time. I collect Mewtwo's. If, if you let me know in the comment section, what are what is your favorite Pokemon of all time? Uh, what's the Pokemon that you actually love the most? Here's the code card for everyone. And let's see what we have in this pack. All right. So we have a Water Energy, Charmeleon, Jinx, Graveler, Boltor, Geodude, an Eevee. Look at that beautiful Eevee. Cliff Fairy, a Caterpie, and another shiny Pokemon Full Art, Lycanroc GX. This Lycanroc card, I love it. I love this form of Lycanroc the most, rather than the other one. And this shiny card is no exception look at that beautiful card centering again we're not hitting gold in terms of centering unfortunately it's off center a little bit on the top and the bottom the left to right seems a little bit okay it's a little off center as well but not that bad as up and bottom but the rest of the card looks in pretty good shape very beautiful card look at those sparkles <laughs> i love it all right so that's that and then we have an electrode which we don't care anymore because we got that amazing amazing shiny pokemon again it's mewtwo right mewtwo is the best pokemon out there sorry so <laughs> that's why we got so lucky with that one anyway all right so let's just see if we get something else in here dark energy Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina Suggestion, Misty's Determination, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekins, just watching the rainbow. Oops. Caterpie, Paris, a reverse holo lieutenant search strategy, and Eevee. Look at this. This card is one of my favorite Eevee cards of all time. Look at that hologram. Look how beautiful the artwork is. And even it is not a shiny card, I bet this card is going to be very valuable in the future just because it is so beautiful, right? When you're collecting and when you're investing, sometimes when you're speculating, the best bet is to go with beautiful cards because people will always want them, right? People will always want beautiful cards. Just like art, people always want beautiful art pieces. And uh, that's my take on it. If it's beautiful, it's probably going to hold its value or, or at least it's going to grow or at least hold its value, right? I don't think it's going to uh, go down in value. So that's why I think it's important to, when you're speculating, at least go with, the, <laughs> with beautiful cards or speculate with cards that are popular always, like Charizard or popular Pokemon like Mewtwo. Uh, evolutions are always very good any starter is also very good and then we have Jesse and James a holographic card as well I don't know about you but I have a lot of nostalgia with holographic cards that are this way because they look like Wizards of the Coast cards and I just love them um, 
now the, those holographic cards are not the super secret rare ones anymore. Now we have all the other full arts and rainbow cards, hyper rare cards. Uh, and I love them too, but I'm old school, okay? <laughs> so I'm old school. Here's another code for everyone to enjoy. And let's see if we can get the Charizard. That would be awesome, right? I want to get that Charizard. Let's see, Charmeleon, Brock's Grit, Farfetch'd. Slowpoke, Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ikens, Scyther, and another full art card, Giovanni's Exile. And it's kind of a strange looking card actually. It has like a very strange texture. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. It looks like if it was wet, but it is not. I haven't seen that before. That's pretty cool. Or maybe it's a pro it's a it's a printing mistake. <laughs> it looks very weird, actually. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but uh, look at here. You can see it clearly. It's like wet, but it is not wet. It is interesting. Anyway, nice card here. Love it. Again, this one seems a little off in the centers, also, but not that bad. This could go for a PSA 10 probably. So pretty good card. I love it. Look at that. So, so far we've been very lucky. This is our last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic right there. And um, after that, we'll do the deep analysis. I'll go over everything that we got in terms of great pools. And then we'll discuss the expected value. All right. So we have a metal energy. Mr. Cerulean. Magmar. Charmeleon again, hey, the Paris, Ikens, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, a Reverse Hollow Geodude, and a Mew. Look at this beautiful Mew. It's a nice card. It's not a shiny or anything card, but I like this artwork. It's a very beautiful Mew. What do you think? Do you like it? All right, so that's everything. That's all the packs. No Charizard, unfortunately. But <laughs> we got amazing pulls. Let's go through them very quickly. We have a Mew, which is a fantastic card. We have this Giovanni's Exile, which I like. We got our Jesse and James. We got our Eevee, very beautiful card. Then we got this sick Lycanroc card. We got our Whooper, very beautiful card as well. Then we have a reverse energy. Our ho -Ho, which made our appearance very early on. And our promo card. Whew! All right, that was super exhausting. It was 10 packs. We got a bunch of good product that came out of those packs. And I really enjoyed opening them. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up because that lets me know that you like this type of content. All right, so now let's go into the numbers, right? We got very, very good cards. Let me take out my notes here. We got that Metal Gross, of course, that Metal Gross promo card that goes out, that goes for about $19 in today's market. Then we got ho -Oh for $14, which was our first card. It was amazing. We got that reverse holo energy for $2. Then we got a whooper for eight. Then we got the lichen rock for 10 bucks. The EV that it's a card that I like. It's not expensive, it's around $2, but it's a card that I expect to grow up in value because it's just a beautiful card. Uh, then we have the Giovanni's Exile, which is, was around five, six dollars. And then the Jesse and James, which I like because it remembers me of Wizards of the Coast era. And that's just one dollar. So if we sum all of that together, we actually managed to recover our investment just by those cards because it goes all the way to $62, more or less, <coughs> um, which is great because now we recover our investment and the rest is just profit, right? We can now sell that Pokeball for around 10 bucks and that gives you 10 more dollars. And then we can buy, we can just sell the whole bulk and the codes for another maybe $10 or something like that. So you will get around $95 out of this box in terms of expected value, which is great. It's a great, great value for what you paid for. And that's why it's very important for you to pay the minimum suggested retail price and don't go and overpay for product like this when you're doing an investment in Pokemon products. 
Now, let's say you want to go on the sealed route. Uh, if we do look at the expected value of these boxes on the sealed route, uh, you will get even more return or similar uh, uh, as well. We get this 10 booster packs. Each booster pack can go around for 650 uh, in a good day, so that's uh, let's say $65. Then we have that Pokeball for 10, that's uh, $75, and then the $20 for that promo, that's $95. So it's almost the same. Now, the good thing about opening packs, or the bad thing actually, is that it's a gamble, right? You can get great pulls or terrible pulls. In our case, we got very lucky and we got good pulls, but uh, you could get worst Pokemon cards and not make that much money. That's why sealed product is always a better and safer way of investing in Pokemon products. Now, let's analyze Hidden Fates as a whole in terms of long-term investment. Um, as I said in my previous videos, and if you haven't checked it out, go and look for them in the iBubble or in the description. I'll leave a link there, but don't go yet. Just finish this video and you, you can go on and, and, and watch all those videos where I analyze the market on Hidden Fates. But as I said in, all, in the other videos, it's important to keep this product sealed uh, if you want to invest in it because number one, it has that unknown factor. Sealed product grows over time more than cards themselves because they have that unknown fa factor, especially in sets like this ones where there's chase cards like that shiny, shiny Charizard, then people in the future will like to buy the, 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 the packs because they will like to take that gamble whether or not they will have that Charizard or not in those packs. Uh, so that unknown factor bumps up the growth on sealed product, product rather than just the cards themselves. Now, it's important to keep it sealed because I can't confirm this, but it, it seems that Hidden Fates, because all the codes are white, that there's a possibility that you can wait those packs. So in the future, if actual people manage to wait them, keeping products sealed like these boxes that we opened today, it's going to give better confidence in the future for people to buy out from you in case you want to sell your assets. Um, <clears throat> when we talk about long term, okay, when we talk about keeping this product for long term, you can now today flip it for $95, right? So we want to know, hey, half, when can we actually have this product return those $95 that I can get today by just flipping it. My expectations is based on how I'm seeing this growing and the amount of people that likes this set is that in about five years, you'll be able to get those $95 more or less. So you will double your investment in five to six years, but that you might need to wait longer. Now, here's important. Once a sealed product in Pokemon once a sealed product starts growing, it starts growing a little bit exponentially. So your return will be higher as time passes, right? Remember, people that invested in Wizards of the Coast didn't make the money they have today just by selling it right away. They waited. They stayed with the product for long. They bought it in 2011, 2012 when the market was down. And then they waited until today to actually get the prices that they're getting. Right, so they waited seven, eight years to actually claim those returns. So you need to be very conscious about that. And the key to success in Pokemon investments is patience. And that's what the, the message I wanted to send today. Don't overreact to the market. Be very patient, save your seal product, and eventually that seal product will have a great return on your investments, especially on sets like this ones where there's no booster boxes and every single pack is just contained in those special promotional materials, the lead trainer boxes, this ball collection, the pin boxes, the premium box that is coming out, which I'll have a video around that one also, which is my favorite of all, by the way, that Rayquaza box, limited availability, limited allocation, and uh, Rayquaza, shiny Rayquaza, right? So it has a lot of things to love. Uh, but today we're talking about the ball collection. So my message is be patient, save some uh, sealed product and keep monitoring your investments over time. Every two, three years, look at how the market is doing, how much they're selling for, and then make decisions whether or not you keep in more or not. So that's Hidden Fate. That's the expected value of these boxes. In the end, as you see, it's a very good expected value. You'll get a lot of bang for your buck. 
and you can either recover your investment right away or just keep it sealed which will bring even more value in the future by just selling it sealed or even opening the packs in the future and selling them as well right now this is all a speculation this that's my disclaimer as always i don't know and i cannot predict the future my assumptions my predictions is that most likely because of the set availability and the limited release that th this set is going to grow in value over time just like Draco and majesty is doing but just as always i want to be very clear it's very difficult to to speculate in the modern Pokemon products because tomorrow a Pokemon company can come back and say hey I'm reprinting all of this and I'm going to allocate thousands and thousands of more boxes like this one to other stores flooding the market and if that happens then a dent to our investment will happen and the growth will slow for sure making it harder and harder to get to those levels that you can get today by just flipping it. That's my unbiased kind of analysis on Hidden Fates, especially these boxes today. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you enjoyed this analysis. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you really like this series and you like what I'm doing here in this YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And let me know as well in the comment section what I'm doing good and what I'm doing wrong because it's the only way I can improve this channel for you. In the end, this channel is for you to make sure that you have all the information that you need and also to entertain people out there, right? Hopefully you're, you're having a blast watching these videos and uh, having a blast with me. <laughs> Anyway, that's everything I have for today. Until next time, remember, gotta collect them all.